I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on method of finding fourth coordinate point of a kite when three are given to us. Let me first thank Mr. Javi for such a request. In this example, I have taken up coordinates which are kind of general with simple calculation values. So it will explain the concept and I hope it will be easier for you to apply the same to similar questions. The question here is the points A minus 2 minus 4, B 3 minus 1 and C 4 2 are three vertices of a kite A, B, C, D. Find the coordinates of the point D. So we are given three points of a kite. These points are A as minus 2 minus 4 point B is given to us as 3 minus 1 and point C is given to us as 4 2 right so these are the three points given to us now whenever you have a question related to kite the major property of kite which we are going to explore is that diagonals are perpendicular right so that is important to understand right diagonals are perpendicular now to get one of the diagonals what we do is we look into the y values and select two points where the y values are in the extreme right so so a and c is is a good combination do you see that the y value is minus 4 so that will be the lowest point in our graph and to the highest point on the graph. So let me relatively plot these points and then we'll work on this. So A is minus 2 minus 4. Let us say somewhere here is A. C is 4, 2, right? So it is 4 is on the right side and 2 is above, right? So somewhere like this. So they are kind of diagonally placed. So what I will do here is kind of sketch a diagonal here, right? I'm not using a graph paper. Solving such questions on graph paper is a good idea. And it actually gives you the fourth point directly. I'm purposely not using a graph paper since we want to understand the concept, right? Okay. So, so point A is the lowest most point, which is minus two, minus four and C for us is 4, 2. We are given point B also. Let us say the position of point B is which is 3 minus 1. So minus 1, this is 2. So maybe kind of here, right? So 3 minus 1. So it is on the left side, right? So it is kind of this side. So it should have, I mean, I took I should have taken more slope anyway so it is 3 minus 1 let's say this is our third point C right so let me say C for us I mean in this case I mean it's B sorry let me write this B is 3 minus 1 right so we'll write B as 3 minus 1 as you know the diagonals should be at right angles so therefore, what we can do is we can construct a line which is perpendicular to the diagonal AC, right? So that should give us the point D, whose coordinates are not known to us, that is D. But what is known is that this is at right angles and the distance D to the center, let me call that as O, right? D to O and O to B are exactly the same, right? So that is what is given to us. Let the point D be X, Y. Okay. So the kite for us will be somehow, uh, will look like this. Right. Let me just join. Right. I wish I could have made it wider. Anyway. So that is how it is. 
So let's go through the steps of finding the coordinates of point D. We'll begin by finding slope of line AC. So let us say MAC is the slope of AC. Formula, you know, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y values are 2 and minus 4. So we can say 2 minus minus 4 divided by difference in x values, 4 minus minus 2. And that gives us slope of minus minus becomes plus. So it is 6 in the numerator. And here, 4 plus 2 is also 6. So slope in this case is 1. That is the slope of line AC. Now, what should be the slope of line DB? Now, DB is perpendicular to AC. Therefore, it should be negative reciprocal. It should be minus 1. So when you multiply these two slopes, since they are perpendicular, you should get minus 1, right? So this is because we know that dB is perpendicular to AC, right? So these slopes, when multiplied, will be minus 1. So what we get here is slope of line dB, right? Now, we should find equation of both these lines to calculate the point of intersection. So we need to calculate point of intersection, the coordinate points of O, which we can find only by getting equation of these two lines. So let's write down equation of the line AC. We are going to use uh, y equals to mx plus b slope intercept form to find this equation. Here, slope of AC is 1, so the line could be y equals to m is 1, so we can write this as x plus b. To find b, we'll use 4, 2, right? So we can use 4 and 2 coordinate points. 4 is the x value, 2 is y value, so it is 2 equals to 4 plus b, or bringing 4 to this side, we get 2 minus 4 equals to b, and that is indeed minus 2. So, we get equation of line AC as y equals to x minus 2, right? Let us call this equation as equation 1. Now, let us find the equation of the line dB. Since we know that the slope is minus 1, let me write this as y equals to minus x plus b, right? We have used the same formula. To find the coordinates of B, we'll substitute coordinates of point B, which is 3 minus 1, right? So we'll use 3 minus 1, the coordinates of point B, which is known to us. 3 is the x value, y value is minus 1, so minus 1 equals to minus, and then 3 for x plus B, or B is equals to minus 1 plus 3, and that is equal to 2. So now we can write down the second equation, y equals to minus x plus 2. So we have equations of both the lines. From these equations, equation 1 and 2, we can find point of intersection, right? So let's find the point of intersection now. Okay. I like to use only half a page, so... Let's make different columns in book. To find point of intersection, let us add equation 1 and equation 2. So if you add them, x and minus x becomes 0. We get 2y. So we get 2y equals 2 minus 2 plus 2, which is also 0. And that gives us y equals to 0. So we get y coordinate points as 0. Now, since y is 0, we can substitute it in equation 1 and get the value of x. So, we get 0 equals to x minus 2, and that gives us x is equals to 2. So, we got point of intersection, which is point O. Coordinates of point O are x values 2, y values 0. Do you get it? 
So now we know the midpoint. To find D, we'll use the midpoint formula. The x coordinates average should be 2, right? So x plus 3 divided by 2 should be equal to 2 and the y coordinate average should be 0. That is y plus minus 1 divided by 2 should be equal to 0. So when you solve this, you get x plus 3 equals to 4 x is equals to 4 minus 3 that is 1 and in this case 2 times 0 is 0 so y equals to taking or let me write in two steps 2 times 0 is 0 and then bringing 1 to this side when you solve you get y equals to 1 you get an idea so you found the coordinates of point D right so we found the coordinates of point D which we assume to be x and y, x value is 1, y value is also 1, right? So now we can write down our answer and the answer is the fourth coordinate d should be 1, 1. I hope the steps are clear. Let's go through them once again. You should analyze the given points sketch make a rough sketch if the graph paper is not provided to you okay i selected points a and c and joined them since y values are on extreme lowest and the highest and then somewhere in between is point b the diagonal joining ac has to be perpendicular to db and d will be same distance away from the point of intersection of these diagonals as B. So those are the two things which we have considered for solving this question. So first we found the slope and then equation of AC. Then we did the same thing for DB. Slope of DB since it is perpendicular will be negative reciprocal of AC. Once you have equation of two lines which in our case were y equals to x plus 2 and y equals to I mean x minus 2 and y equals to minus x plus 2. When you add these two equations minus x plus x I mean x minus x when you add 0 minus 2 and plus 2 gives you 0 so we get 2y equals to 0 or we get y equals to 0 you get it? So the y value of point O is 0 we can find the x value by substituting y as 0. If I substitute y as 0, x is equal to 2. So that gives us the coordinates of point O, which is the midpoint of DB. Now, we applied the midpoint formula. This is the midpoint formula. Average value of x will be same as x coordinate point value of O. Similarly, average y value is going to be the y coordinate. Solving for x and y, we get the coordinates of point D. I hope that helps. This is indeed an excellent example and I can guarantee that once you understand this, you can solve any question on finding coordinates of a kite. I hope that really helps. Thank you once again for your question. All the best.